Ladies and gentlemen, I never thought I'd be saying this, but football has been ruined. It's been rest in peace to football because this Super League is out of order. I don't exactly know about it because I've not read much about it, but I know like the things that will be happening and all that. So I've read that um, the all the six Premier League teams have signed up to play in the Super Cup. Is that is that what it's called? Uh, what whatever that cup's called, and that I think that means we won't be able to play in the Prem because we'll be in a separate league. And all the players in the Super League won't be able to participate in the World Cup, in the Euros, and the... Ch Wait, no. Yeah, it's the World Cup and the Euros. I don't know the other one, but... Yeah. And also, these teams cannot participate in the Champions League because we're in the Super Cup. So, what does this mean? It just means football has been ruined. It's all about the money nowadays. Like, football has been made by the poor people, but has been talked by the rich people. And it's just disappointing. And as a United fan, I'm disappointed that the Glazers signed up uh, to participate in this. And I've also got news today of Grime Daily that Manchester City, Chelsea and Real Madrid are set to be kicked out of the Champions League this week due to them uh, signing up the contracts wherever it was so that means PSG and Liverpool are left in the Champions League wait no how is that possible wait who's in the champ wait Liverpool are kicked out oh my god I'm so dumb so that means PSG have won it PSG have won the Champions League early without even playing but it's just it's like it's sad because West Ham United are they fourth in the Prem or third I don't even know well, they're in the top four, I think, and they've had a chance of playing in the Champions League next season. But will there be a Champions League next season because of this? I don't know. I literally don't know. As, as I said, I don't know about this cup. But it's a, it's a cup, it's a league. I don't know about it, but I heard that all the all fans are getting upset that all these lower teams won't have a chance to participate in the Champions League. Probably against the big teams because all the big teams are in this league. But yeah, I don't know what to say about it. It's just sad that football has been ruined. It's not been confirmed yet. It's not been confirmed. But with all the teams signing uh, the contract thing, it looks like it's about, it's gonna happen. At Arsenal, Arsenal did sign up, but now uh, they declined or something. They don't want to do it anymore. Uh, the 12 teams are United, City, Tottenham, Liverpool, Chelsea, Inter, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Juventus, AC Milan, and two other teams. I can't remember, I'm sorry guys, but yeah, football's have just been ruined. Bad this. It's all about the money. Eh, I'm going to miss the epic Premier League moments, epic Champions League moments, World Cup, Euros. And as a Poland fan, it doesn't affect Poland, but it affects the other clubs. We're, we're going to miss Szczesny, but we've got Fabianski. So it won't affect Poland in the Euros, because Bayern Munich did not sign up, so we still got Levin and Golski. Um, and yeah, the players aren't happy about it, the managers are not happy about it. Even uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said in a press conference that he didn't even know about this, he doesn't know about this. Jurgen Klopp said he's against it. But whoever owns the club of uh, Liverpool, I don't know. Obviously, the Glazers own United and they signed it. But whoever owned, yeah, the owner basically of Liverpool signed it. So it's nothing to do with the players. It's nothing to do with the club when well, it is because they own the club. So it's nothing to do with the players, nothing to do with the managers. It's just to do with the owners of the club. Which is sad because it's all about the money nowadays because the owners have the most money and they think they can do whatever they want with that money. So they're, they're ruining football. Oh, because of the Super League. Would you believe it? Cancel it. At least there's petitions and everything going on. At least the players are not happy and no one's happy about it. The fans are very not happy. 
So we could maybe be called off, even though it's not been confirmed yet. Maybe it won't happen. And I really hope it doesn't happen because this will ruin football. There will be no more. In the, you know, the only teams in the Champions League, the only good teams, will be PSG and Bayern Munich. And they'll be winning the Champions League every year. Oh, it's just disappointing. It's just very disappointing. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm just gonna. I'm, that's all I wanted to say. I just want to get it off my chest. I'm really disappointed. I'm really sad about it because I'm gonna miss watching Premier League games. I'm gonna be bloody watching the Polish league now. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be watching. I'll just be watching all the games that are available. Bloody Leicester gonna win the league every year now, or Everton. Bloody hell. <sighs> We'll, we'll see what happens, but hopefully it ends on a positive, but I don't see that happening right now, but Yeah, it's been all over social media. It's been all, all over Instagram all over Twitter It's just been all over everywhere and fans are not happy, which is good, which is good At least the fans are not happy in there um, On Instagram I saw today that they've been flying planes saying Hashtag say no to the Super League, which is very good. I like that and um, outside Old Trafford, they said uh, made by the poor, owned by the rich. I don't know, taken by the rich or something like that, which is good. There was a Tottenham fan holding up a sign saying, say no to the Super League, which is fair enough. I, I respect that. That's good. That's just showing that we don't want the Super League. Like, football is about the fans. What, what the fans want, not about the money, it shouldn't be about the money But nowadays it's all about the money Like it just is, it's the sad truth It's all about the money now though. It's not, They don't care about the fans, apart from the German league or the French league Because uh, the fans said they don't want to be in the Super League So the clubs didn't sign up to it Which I respect that a lot, Bayern Munich, PSG, I respect it There was also another German team, but yeah, I respect it a lot but the fact that the Glazers just signed up straight away without the fans communicating with uh, the the club, um, all these other teams. Oh yeah, Barcelona. Oh, yeah, I already said it. Barcelona, Real Madrid. I want to hear Messi and Ronaldo's opinion on this because this is a disgrace. Oof. So yeah, football's ruined. Football's just been ruined. But anyways, that will be it for today. Uh, just wanted to get off my chest because obviously I'm a big footy fan and. For this to be happening it is very sad but anyways um i will be doing more exploring videos more reaction videos but yeah as i said what are you what are you guys doing like not you guys not the fans what like whoever made the super league what are you doing like why are you trying to ruin football for us can you imagine how many young kids said oh dad i want to be like him i want to win the world cup like him Oh, I want to win the Champions League like him. Well, how is that going to happen then? How are all these young talents going to grow up and win the Champions League when all this Super League stuff is happening? I just feel bad for like the youngsters because they've always won. I bet every single youngster wants to win the Champions League. Like, There's no doubt about that. Every single youngster wants to win the Champions League. Every single youngster wants to succeed. Every single youngster wants trophies. But with the Super League, it just won't happen, will it? But, as I said, I have a lot of respect for Bayern and PSG. But yeah, anyways, that will be it for today. I've already said that about 10 times, but... It's just annoying, but... It's, it's a disgrace. It's all about the money nowadays. You can't even... I don't know. I wonder what's gonna happen for the Euros. Like, England don't even have a team. And to be honest, I don't support England, so it doesn't really affect me. Well, it doesn't affect me because I don't support them, but the fact that the Euros are going to be a lot different. Like, all these small teams are going to have a bigger chance of winning it now because... All the, like, imagine the French team. Look at the French team. No Pogba, no Griezmann, no Dembele. Um, who else plays that? No Kante, no Varane, no Hugo Lloris. Who else do they have? No Matuidi. Um, no Ben Yen Wait, no. Do we have Ben Yedder? Where does Ben Yedder play? I don't know. But as I said, football is, is going to change. Well, it, it's not been confirmed yet, but yeah. Uh, hopefully something 
positive happens. But anyways, that will be it for today, guys. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button. I'm gonna end it now because I'm just gonna be talking all day. But anyways, have a good day. More videos coming soon. Take care and peace. Hopefully, all this turns out to be on the positive.